Greetings everyone, Kenji here at Life of Clay. Welcome back to my channel and today I will be making bonsai sokai. It's made out of air dry clay and paper mache. But before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. So come on and let's begin. All the materials I use in this project are listed in the description below. I started marking the wood and drilling it. And inserting the copper wires. I kept the wires longer purposely so to avoid shortage when I'm shaping the branches and deciding how long I want them to be. I fill the gap in the center of the wires with aluminum foil and also covering the exterior around, tightly twisting it to make it dense. Tying a cotton string around to secure the foil and wires together. I position the branches based on their natural formation and following the basic rules of bonsai that all branches must be add in numbers and then trim all the excess. I trim and reuse all the plastic tips that holds the pine needles of the artificial plant I bought online. Drill the trimmed end then attach them to the tip of the wires adding epoxy to adhere. I also observe the drooping position of branches caused by elements while keeping the pine needles facing upward the sky. To keep the wires bound together, I add UV resin but I do not have a UV light so I treat them under the sun. After the resin is cured, I started wrapping the tree with tissue paper while brushing it with water diluted glue. I decided to use paper mache technique to the trunk and branches for safety reason during transportation, not to worry about breakage and severe damage to the branches compared to the one that made out of polymer clay. After the paper wrapping stage, I then wrap around crumpled aluminum foil to add creases to the paper and let it dry overnight. The next day, I remove all the foil to reveal the result and expose some wet parts of the tree for further drying. It's time to place the tree in the ceramic dish, adding aluminum foil around the base to save clay and I start adding the air dry clay, adding its exposed curling and snaking roots to imitate the real thing, adding bark texture at the same time. I covered a ball of aluminum foil with air dry clay to form a rock. Using a crumpled aluminum foil to add more texture to the rock and to the ground. I 
I primed the tree with household paints of flat white followed by burnt umber. And then I painted it with folk art acrylics of burnt sienna and burnt umber mix. Painting the ground and the rock with raw umber, black, and sabrin mix. But after observing the tree, I find myself not satisfied with the details on the bark. That's why I decided to do some improvement. I tear and soak a paper tray in water to soften and adhere them to the tree piece by piece to imitate the peeling-like effect of the barks in the natural pine tree. set aside to dry overnight. And the next day, I again prime it with burnt umber. Adding highlights on the rock by adding titanium white to the burnt umber. Bonsai Sokai is the art of creating an artificial but realistic bonsai tree. The advantage of this bonsai is it requires no maintenance at all, dusting perhaps, but unlike a live one, but still giving our home interiors the touch of nature artificially. Bonsai, often misspelled bonsai or banzai, is a Japanese term which literally translated means planted in a container. I use pure raw umber for the underpainting. And to highlight the barks, I add titanium white in the mix. Pour a clear glue around the base and sprinkle with artificial moss, tipping the dish to remove excess. After the glue is dried, I painted the moss in different colors to imitate the fresh and the wilted patches. I used sap green, yellow ochre, and bash yellow randomly in painting the moss.
and then I seal the bark and the ground with ultra matte water based polyurethane varnish. Retouching the moss highlights with a mix of sap green, bass yellow, and white. And now, the moment of truth, attaching the pine needles. I purchased this type of pine needles for their realistic and fresh look. I started attaching the pine needles on the top all the way down. And I'm so pleased with the result. After all the long period of planning, finally, my bonsai sofi is done. I like it and I hope you did too. Thank you for watching and have a nice day everyone.